everyone, my name is Lola and today we're going to tackle a lockdown recipe. So the thing that we're going to do today is going to be French crepes. So crepes are pretty famous. We usually eat them uh, at the beginning of February for a fest called La Chandeleur. But to be honest, right now I think we all need something sweet in our life and there is no easier recipe than crepes. So let's get down to it. So first, obviously, you're going to need a big bowl so that this way you can stir everything in. A whisk so that it's easier to mix everything. And the most important is going to be a glass because basically we're going to measure out everything using that glass. As for the ingredients, they are pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to start with a floor. You can use basically any floor. I'm using normal type. Then you have three eggs, a bit, little bit of salt and some milk. All right, so let's get down to our recipe. So first, what you got, wanna do is pour one glass of milk, voila, and pour that inside your bowl. Then, you are going to add two glasses of flour. That is one and a second one. So I'm doing that with a glass because I'm at home. Obviously you can do that with a cup. Um, honestly, you don't need to use very specific measurements. Crepes are pretty forgiving, so that's our Second glass, make sure to scrap all of the things that are left inside of your bowl. There we go. And then we're going to add our three eggs. Up and last but not least, you want to add a pinch of salt. Voila. And then you're going to start whisking everything together, combining it. Make sure that you take all of the flour. So you're going to see, at first it looks a little bit lumpy and quite thick. That's totally normal. Don't worry about that because we're going to add another glass of milk. So we're going to be doing in total four glasses of milk. This is the second one. So what you want to do is um, whisk in between every one of the glasses of milk so that it's easier to combine, basically. Voila. As you can see, it's already a lot more liquid. So we're going to go for our third glass. And our fourth and last glass. Okay guys, so basically your dough is finished. What you want to do is leave it to rest for about an hour. That's going to allow for all of your ingredients to go back to the same temperature, which is going to be a lot better afterward when we cook our crepes. All right, so I'll see you in about an hour. Okay guys, so it's been an hour, we're back, and now we are going to start cooking our crepes. You're gonna need a pan uh, and a ladle so that it's easier to spread it. All right guys, so for the pan, I'm using this pan that is uh, specifically made for crepes. As you can notice, it has a very, very short side that actually allows you to pass the spatula easier, but obviously you can use literally any pan. So what you wanna do first is eat it up, pretty high just to make sure you know that the dough is quite uh, cooked. What I prepared on the side is actually just a little bit of butter and a paper towel. This way I'm going to make sure that there is a little bit of grease and a little bit of fat on the pan to make sure that it doesn't stick. And I also prepared a plate to put all of my crepes on. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of butter on our paper towel. Gently bring it around. I like to spread a little bit of it on the edges as well. Just allow us, you know, to make sure that everything will be non-stick. Then you wanna do like that and spread it around 
I have just more. And basically you have to wait a little bit to make sure that the corner are gonna start being crispy. So usually the first one is pretty messed up and the last one as well. So don't worry if, if you have some uh, trouble getting to the perfect craft. Enjoy yourself, take your time and, and we're going to arrive at the perfect craft all together. Corner right there are starting to brown a little bit. So that's actually what we want, this color. So we're going to take our spatula, just kind of go around so the first one i'm gonna flip it manually uh see perfect color so it's totally normal that you have bubbles don't worry they're going to explode by themselves obviously when you flipped it you added a lot of air underneath it so don't worry so yeah so what you want uh is those beautiful color here uh you don't want your crab to be too wide because otherwise that means that it's not cooked uh properly throughout so after that same you wait a few minutes on the other side before it's done mm, it starts to smell so good already all right let's check that little baby oh perfect this one is done and as you can see you have this beautiful little uh, shapes on it that make it kind of look like a moon if you ask me. So that was the first one and now continue until you run out of dough basically. So you're gonna see as your pan start getting hotter and hotter it's going to be harder to spread the dough properly so my advice is to take the uh, pan out of the fire before you do it just to make sure that it has a little bit of time to cool down. For the thickness of the crepe it really depends what you guys prefer. I like my crepes to be thick enough that I can fill them without them breaking apart. I know some people prefer their crabs to be a lot thinner. It really, really uh, is up to you. As you can see, the pan is a little bit hotter. This crab is still good, okay? It's not burned. I'm gonna try to flip the next one by making it jump out of the pan, hoping that nothing will go wrong. Otherwise, I think my cat will be very, very happy and me not so much. Beautiful. And start again. So I'm gonna lower the temperature because I don't want everything to burn. Okay, you see my pan is a little bit too warm right now. I need it to be a lot lower. Going to a 10 to flip this one. Ooh, hopefully it works. The legends say that you're supposed to hold a coin in your hand while you do it. I know some people say that it's supposed to be in your right hand. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I am a right hand person and if I'm using my right hand to do something else, it's going to be messy. I'm gonna kind of cheat and help this one a little bit. Let's do that! That was a fail. <laughs> ah, hot, 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 hot. Okay, I think I did not leave that one enough time to cook. It does look pretty though, it does look pretty. That's something. We're gonna try with another one. I'm not defeated yet. So I'm going to leave it a little bit more time this time. You're not in my kitchen, but trust me, it smells amazing right now. Girl number two. Once again, coin in my hand. Apparently it's supposed to bring you a lot of wealth if you manage to flip it. And you know, we're all in need of wealth. Two, three. Whee! I did it, you guys! I did it! Yeah! This, this is the sweet crepe of victory. And voila, guys. Our crepes are finished. You can put whatever you want on it. My personal favorite is butter and sugar, pretty simple. This crepe recipe is quite simple. You can add other things to it if you want to. I know some people like to put beer inside. Some people like to include the sugar inside the dough. Once again, for me, I prefer it on top of it, <laughs> but it's up to you. So now that you have the recipe, you guys can go on ahead and do whatever you want. Well, be safe guys and enjoy your crepes. Bye!